equation. Sure. So, from this equation, what can we conclude? Uh, that adds up. Mm. Yes, but uh, this log plus this log plus this log is equal to what? Uh, Left hand side is a log what to the base what? A, a mm. oh, um, log base six, um, wait, and wait, log logs, wait, uh, sorry, uh, it's six. Log six thirty six. It's what? Log base six thirty six. Log A B C to the base six, right? Oh yeah. You should concept product. You said here when we have two variables A C when we have n variables product of that, right? So from here, what can we conclude about A B C? A B C is equal to what? 36. 6 to the 6, right? Oh, 6 and 6, yeah. Okay, now from here we don't need these logs, okay? ABC is 6 to the 6, and ABC are positive integers form an increasing geometric sequence. B minus A is what? One more hint, or that's enough? So. Mm. Being, you can rewrite B minus A as like M squared and then A, B and C are positive integers that form an increasing geometric sequence. So does that mean that A, M, A, like let's say A, M is equal to B and B, M is equal to C? Yes, and um, keep working on this. Keep trying to see. Can you find A plus B plus C? One hint or want to keep trying? Yeah. Okay, sure. So, as you said, if you have A, B, C, we can say A, B is A, Q or A, M, right? Yeah. And C is A, M squared. So, A, B, C then would be what in terms of A and M? A, M, A squared, M squared, B. Yeah, so A to the what, M to the what? A to the 2, M to the 2, B to the 1. No, 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 only in terms of A and M. Oh, uh, A to the 3, M to the 3. Exactly. And is equal to 6 cubed, right? Yeah. So we can conclude AM is what? 6 to the 2. Which is 36, right? Yeah. So let's consider cases. Then you have to be the positive interest and you should do like... Uh, A can be 1 or 18. what? What are the cases of A? 1 and 18. Wait, 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 3 and 12. 4 and 9. Six and six, and then the other way around. Six, six, nine, four, the other way around. Yeah. twelve, three, eighteen, one, thirty-six, one, thirty, eighteen, two, thirty-six, one, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, it says B minus A. B minus A is what? Is a m minus a right? It should be perfect the square. Okay. Yeah. We know a m is thirty six, right? B is always yeah. thirty six. So thirty six minus a should be perfect the square. So a can be what? 
So A can be... Um, what are the cases for A? So let, let me tell you this. This perfect square can be what? Uh, 36 minus a positive integer is a perfect square. So that perfect square can be what? Um, so it can be zero. Mm, S zero or that could be zero eleven. No, no. All the squares it can be one four nine sixteen twenty five. Yes, thirty six. So A would be what for each of them? First one A is what? Um. A is 36. Yes. This one is what? Uh, 35, then 32, then uh, 4, 27, yes. then 20, then 11. But we know AM is 36. A should be a divisor of 36. So the only possible case is what? But let's consider something. It says form an increasing geometric series, right? Yeah. So, because they are increasing, in this case, it is not increasing, right? Yeah. So, what are the possible other possible cases? Uh, uh, the geometric sequence. Yes. Do we have any other possible case? For sure. Mm, we can say usually, uh, let me tell you, we can say, for example, non-increasing or something like that. But, and here, A, B, C are positive integers, right? Maybe M is not positive integers. So, if you want to yes. consider this, we, we know thir B is 36. 36 minus A is perfect square. So, we cannot select, for example, 32. If A is 32, M is what? So, let's consider. If A is 32, M is what? M is equal to... Not over 8. Mm, 36 over 32. It's 9 over 8. 8. If it is, so let's check all of them. For 36, we've reached equal numbers, so it's not good, right? Because it's increasing, right? Yeah. So it has to be less than 36. For 32, we've reached this. Now, for 35, if A is 35, then M is what? Thirty-six or twenty-five, which is yes, this one we cannot simplify more. Okay, fine. Yeah. So for this case, it is thirty-five. Thirty-six over thirty-five. Next one would be what? Uh, next one would be 27. No, 36. Again, this one times M. Look, this one times M, this one times M. For this case, we said M is 36 over 35. So if multiply again, it will be 36 times 36 over 35, which is not integer. So that's bad, right? Oh, yeah. If it is so, this one bad, this one bad. If it is 32, it is 32. We know this one is 36. Next one is what? Uh. 
school is our nth joule. 36 times this m, 9 over 8. 36 is not multiple of 8, so that's bad, right? Yeah. If a is 27, what about this one? m is what? Well, then m is equal to... Um, one over three. Yes. So let's write 27, 36. Next one would be what? And the next one would be uh, we eight. So this case is good, right? Yeah. Okay, and the answer would be what? Also would be um, 27. Yes, we can check also other cases. For example, if it is 20, then A is 20, then M is what? Uh, M is equal to... Wait, oh yeah, so, so M is equal to 9 over 5. Yes, yeah, so 20, 36, That's clearly 36 nice. times 9 over 5 is not integer, right? And 11, if it is 11, m is what? Uh, then m is equal to... Thirty-six over 11. So it's 11, 36. It's 36 times 36 over 11, which is not integer. And last one, 0. Mm, do you agree if a, is, a 0 is not possible, right? Yeah. Because 0 times m is 0, not 36. Okay. So the answer is 111. Okay? Yes. Any question about this problem? No. Okay, so...